I'm so sorry for my stuffy nose and I hope you guys can hear me good. Actually, I didn't plan to make a video today, but I am forced. I'm forced because of your love on my YouTube channel and your tremendous support on my Patreon. So that's why I'm here and today we're gonna create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop and there are a lot to cover inside the tutorial section. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. All right, so here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create an artboard and for that press Ctrl and N and I'm so sorry for my stuff in this. Uh, it's, uh, it's a weather changing over here. It's kind of cold outside and I'm not feeling that good, but still I'm here. Uh, so let's create an artboard and I'll just go with 4x5 resolution to 300 color mode to RGB. Let's save the bit fit to 8 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click and create. And then right after that, let's drag and drop uh, this image right over here. And let's do another image right over here. And let's convert it as a smart object. And let's do the same thing for this one. Convert it as a smart object. Control T. Let's make it a little bigger. Let's add a little rotation. Yep, let's keep it just like that let's make uh, let's go to the layer one press ctrl t let's make it a little smaller uh, more smaller uh, let's convert yeah let's flip it and horizontal flip yep let's keep it like that and let's keep it right over here all right now let's drag and drop another image right over here let's keep it right around here and let's put it somewhere over here and uh, let's create a rectangle and uh, let's go for kind of similar color yep let's keep it like that mm, let's move it a little down all right now let's go on very bottom let's add a solid and let's go for a kind of darker color yep this one and let's see let's go over here let's drag and drop this png right over here let's convert it as a smart object Control t let's make it a little bigger let's add a rotation yep like that let's go to filter and let's go to blur and let's go for a radial blur and i'm going for a zoom let's change the quality to best and yep i think 14 yep like 14 looks good to me and let's click on ok and let's make a one more copy ctrl j and let's keep it on front ctrl t let's make it a little bigger let's add a rotation rotation let's keep it somewhere over here and let's create a layer max on very first one and go to brush and let's erase uh, some of these parts make sure the color is black yep. yep let's keep it like that and let's go on very bottom create a new layer and let's go for uh, let's go for this brush and make sure the color is white let's add some particles let's drop down the opacity a little bit and let's create a one more layer let's add a little rotation like that and maybe add a one more stroke on right over here Okay, right around here now let's do some color adjustment so go over here go to filter let's go to camera raw filter now let's go over here and let's drop down the highlights let's increase the shadows increase the clarity and let's go on color mixture and let's drop down the luminance for blue purple 
aqua let's go to saturation and let's increase for red let's drop down for orange and yellow let's change the hue to maybe kind of right around here yep let's keep it like like that and let's do the same thing for this one filter go to camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting and let's click on ok and let's do the same thing for this layer go to filter go to uh, camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting I think that this looks good to me and let's click on ok yeah, let's keep it like that uh, and let's go over here and add a color lookup and from here click on load and again I'm going to apply uh, my favorite LUT that is the mood LUT so select this one and click on load so this is what we got and now let's uh, drag and uh, drop uh, this uh, overlay back on top let's change it to screen and control G let's rotate it like that and let's make it a little smaller yep, let's keep it maybe somewhere around here and then let's add some text control T let's make it a little bigger change the color let's give a kind of vibrant color yep let's go for this one and let's make a copy control J let's move it maybe somewhere around here and let's make another copy let's make it a little smaller control T And let's add a little separation in between so let's go right over here create a new layer go to brush and again with the same brush let's add some whites right around here all right and let's list for this background I think this is uh, too bright let's drop it down a little more Oops just like so and maybe let's do the same thing for this in this layer so let's drop it down right around here and for the bloody strength let's drop it down around like eight yeah, I think this is looking much better control T let's add a rotation yep let's keep it like that and let's drag uh, this PNG right over here and let's add a just let's convert it as a smart object first and let's go to filter and let's add blur and let's add some Gaussian blur I think 3 looks good to me let's keep it like that let's add a little rotation and then Let's make a copy, control J, let's keep it on top, control T, let's add a rotation, yep, let's keep it right around here. Now let's drag and drop uh, this logo right over here, control T, let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it right around here and let's change the color let's go for a kind of similar vibrant color and I'll just go with this one I 
guess let's change uh, the player size a little bit. Let's select both control T. Let's make it a little bigger. There's some more, yep. Like that. And let's merge everything. Control Shift Alt and E. Shift Alt and E. Let's go to filter. Let's go to blur. Let's add some Gaussian blur. And again, let's create a layer max. Let's fill it with black. Again, go to brush. And with a soft brush, let's uh, Let's rebuild some of the blurs right around here. And let's create a new layer. Let's edit, go to fill. Let's fill it to 50% gray. Change it to soft light. Let's add some dozen brand. Let's go for dodge tool. Let's add some dozen face. Yep, like that. Maybe some right around here. Maybe some around here too. And let's go to burn tool. Let's add some burn. Let's add some shadows. Let's add some shadows right around here too. And yes, that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial. And I'll definitely see you in the next video. And until then, you guys take care and be creative. Thank you.